welcome to the first of many, of hopefully many, um, GMod tutorials from Arbiter. I'm gonna, I started off playing GMod, just a few random things here and there until I started watching tutorials on the internet from um, Tricky's tutorials, which I believe has disappeared nowadays, very sad. But um, a friend of mine told me I should start making tutorials since I'm fairly good, and I thought, you know, I might as well give it a shot. So I'm gonna start off today by showing you Wire Mod very basic understanding of wire mod but that's basically what we're going to do. Okay now one of the first things you're going to want to do when you want to use wire mod obviously is to actually install it. You do this from a series of methods mainly the wire mod website if you just google wire mod you can download wire mod here. Um, I'll see, yep this is the exact thread. The main way you do this is via SVN which is a program where you enter a URL and some password information and it'll download everything that the people who make WireMod make directly into your folders. So you can install that, which is great. So just go on this website, just Google WireMod, you'll find it. Otherwise, if it's too complicated, there is an alternative here that is basically a batch file that will download everything in the WireMod uh, series onto your computer. You just download this zip file. I'm not sure, you might need to create a login first. I don't re quite recall but you'll be able to download it directly onto your, pro onto your system, follow the readme and it'll just download everything there is for WireMod onto your PC and just follow that and you should be okay. Okay, now the map's loaded. Um, let's just explain, I've turned the resolution way, way down for all you YouTube people so you can actually see what I'm doing. Um, it looks horrible. This is the first time I've ever run the game in this resolution and I don't plan to very often other than for YouTube videos. Right. So as you can see, we've got most of the moment, we've got props here, this is all we're going to need, and then the wire tool, the wire menu, which is on the right hand side, next to normal tools. It's got a lot of um, co uh, categories, most of the stuff I don't, I don't even use. You can, you only really, the thing with wire is, you only need, you only use what you need, you don't really need to know what everything is, like I've, I've never used a colorer or a hollow emitter, I, d I don't know how these work. But I'm going to explain the basics of wire. So we have here just a one by one panel and I'm going to put a button on it and this button is going to have a value of 1 and a value of 0 depending whether or not it's on or off because obviously buttons can be on or off and I'm going to toggle the values so that they hold what's going on and put this as 0. So I have a button there that can be 1 or 0 very simple. Then I'm going to make a thruster and the thruster is going to be a can and let's make it shoot out fire and smoke so we can tell when it's on. Right now this is the very important tool, it's in under wire tools right at the bottom and it's just called wire. And you can set however you want it to look, mine's red, red laser just to make it and when you hover over a wire entity you'll have this little blue box that appears and these are I'm not sure whether they're outputs or inputs I've never really decided <laughs> but basically when you wire this up it now it ah it takes an input from somewhere else so say a button or something else and then it outputs what you want it to and obviously since a thruster it would output thrust so hopefully when I press this button it outputs fire and smoke because it is on now, what wire is, is basically a series of number systems. It will take in a value and using logic or comparisons or whatever it is, it will output something good. It's a series of outputs and inputs. So, at the moment, the button is set to 1 or 0, on or off. But what if we have a button that is set to 1 or 5? So now we've got a button there with a value of 1 or 5. Now, the thing with thrusters is, wire thrusters at least, we have a force multiplier. And this is quite interesting because if we set the force maximum to, let's say, 100, then we have a force minimum of, of 0 and a force maximum of 100, but a multiplier of 10. So, if we wire that up, when it receives this information of 5 instead of 0, although it says the multiplier is 10, when it fires the thrust is 50 because it's it's a multiplier of 10 plus an input of 5. And that is basically wire, it is a number system. 
that will generate an output. To show you the kind of things we can do with wire, I'm going to build the basic of a vehicle. Now, my vehicle building skills have somewhat diminished over the past few years of playing this game because I don't really build them anymore, I just run around and spam wild advanced tube stuff, so bear with me. I'm not going to go into mass extravagance with this car, it's just going to be a simple phallic shaped vehicle. Right, I'm going to stick some regular hoverballs on here because I'm not going to go into wire hoverballs just yet because I'm not that keen on them myself yet. I'm still learning. <laughs> so there's some regular hoverballs. Right. And then here comes the wonderful part where I spawn a, a chair and it flies off into the distance. Oh, no, it's actually still there. Although I don't really need that, I've just thought. Okay, so, I'm going to make three buttons. If I can find the right model, there's going to be a forward button. Well, let's start with that right button, okay. If I can get on top of my car, which would be nice. Right. Uh, a forward button, or up, although that's pretty much down, either way, oh, I've still got the value set of 1. Another thing, oh, since I'm doing it now, if you make new values for a button and untoggle them, say that, that that's already set at 5 and it's set on toggle, but if I was to overwrite it now, although the model says the, chain, the, set, the, the, the settings can, can change with it, so that's a good, that's a good thing to remember. Um, <coughs> and then I need a left button the virtues of planning these things out. Right, so now I'm going to stick some thrusters around the place. Um, nothing that powerful. Let's have an output of 100. Okay. If you want to know what it is with the grid, I have Smart Snap add-on, which is quite useful for just overlaying grids. Um, I'll write that in the end or something. Also, <coughs> also with turn and thrusters, I tend to put them on the on the front left and the right back, which means that if you think about it, the first that is pushing from that direction and that is pushing from that direction, and the whole thing will turn if you don't already do that, which you should probably should. So I'm going to wire this one to turn right and wire this one to turn left, and these two to go when pressing forwards. Hopefully this shouldn't go so fast that I fall off it. But this is just a basic understanding of how it works. So, unfreeze everything, stand on it, and then hopefully when I press forwards, the vehicle starts to move forwards. Very slowly, I'll admit, but it's still going. If you hold E while you are looking at a button and then look away, it should remain on, or you could always just use toggle. So if I press there, it's off now. Now if I was to press right, the right button fires, and obviously if I were to press left, that one would fire and I would hopefully turn left, although they both turn in the same direction because I've set them to do that. But yes, this is a basic understanding. Uh, output or a physics object will receive an input and output accordingly, and that's basically what's going on. Um, so yeah, you can have a play around with thrusters and buttons for the moment. You could also try explosives, although not only in your free time, if you do this on a server you're no longer my friend. Um, turrets even, just something that, that something in your normal tools that would receive a basic input like a keypad input and will output something normal but use buttons instead of something on your keypad, on your keyboard and see what you can come up with. Okay, and till the next time I'll see you then. Bye.